The United Nations says that Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine has driven more than 5 million people from their homes, many of them older adults. Now, some are finding safe places to live thanks to American charity to Ukraine with love and a community called Miracle Village. VOA's correspondent, Lesia Bakaletz, reports from the development of 107 apartments outside of Kyiv. Hello. 63-year-old Tatiana Galka and her 85-year-old mother Lilia have been living in this apartment for two months. We have two bedrooms. One is for my mother. She has all the amenities, even a TV. There is no TV in my bedroom, but there is a double bed. When we were handed the keys, I was simply shocked, and I cried. The apartment where Galka lives is in the Kyiv region in the special settlement known as Miracle Village. The charity to Ukraine with love built it specially for older displaced people with funding from American philanthropist Deloitte Hansen. Accommodation here is free. We conclude a free rental agreement with each person. We made a questionnaire. It's online. Anyone can fill it out. Then there's a whole commission that reviews the questionnaires and invites future residents. Miracle Village has 107 apartments designed for 130 residents. There will be a clubhouse with a shelter and a walk-in clinic, a free dentist and a hairdresser. In addition, we have a free bus to transport residents to the nearest city. Each apartment has a terrace and land for a garden. Lubov and Anatoly Bondar have already bought a weeding tool for their future garden. They used to have one at their original home in Bakhmut in the Donetsk region, which is now destroyed. We had 15 acres of land and farming there. We used to have everything, everything. At first, we wanted to stay, but when a cluster munition fell right in our garden, it was so scary. I had no idea how we remained unhurt. Tatiana and her mother decided to flee Bakhmut when there was nowhere to hide from the shelling. Our apartment was hit directly. As we got away from the city, I cried all the way. I realized I'd never come back here again. By the end of the year, the organization says all apartments will be occupied mainly by new residents from Donbass and southern Ukraine. Even in this environment of warmth and relative safety, there is a lingering fear among these residents that their new homes may also be destroyed by Russian missiles. Lesia Bakaletz, VOA News in the Kyiv region of Ukraine. Voice of America's Jessica Stone is still with us from the White House. Uh, Jessica, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky held meetings with U.S. lawmakers this week to seek additional funding, an uphill battle for him, to say the least. Was he able to garner any support? Well, certainly a cooler reception for Volodymyr Zelensky on Capitol Hill than previously. Remember, he's made remarks, uh, very rousing remarks on Capitol Hill in the past. Uh, but yes, this time we noticed he met behind closed doors with lawmakers. So that underscores uh, the tension and the urgency of his mission, but also the reception he received. Meantime, the reception here at the White House continues to be uh, the case that Biden says that Ukraine will run out of money for its war effort against Russia by the end of the year without this U.S. Uh, foreign aid bill that's under negotiation on Capitol Hill, $110 billion in total, $60 billion of them going to Ukraine. Uh, Zelensky maintains that the war is not at a stalemate. Uh, the Pentagon spokesperson says the U.S. is giving everything to Ukraine that it could possibly do to win, according to Politico. But Biden has also announced now as a short term measure uh, another two hundred million dollars in pre-approved aid for Ukraine because it does not appear that uh, Congress is going to be come to a resolution uh, at least this week. The Senate now deciding to uh, stay in session, come back on Monday to continue negotiating. But House lawmakers have already left Washington and would just be called back in the event of something to vote on. Susan. 
Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. We were hearing that perhaps President Biden's administration and the Senate negotiators were trying to wrap up a border security compromise to unlock this stalemate before the end of the year. What are the chances for that? Uh, it's a very tough negotiation, as you can well imagine. I mean, these lawmakers, some of them are home. Some of them certainly want to be home for the holidays. Uh, but this border security issue is, in fact, the linchpin to unlocking all of that foreign aid, not only for Ukraine, but for Israel and for Indo-Pacific partners, including Taiwan and the Pacific Islands. Uh, the fundamental issue is that um, there is an effort by the House Republicans to get increased immigration efforts uh, at the southern border. And the White House has proposed in the last couple of days, uh, a special offer to let border officials immediately expel migrants at the border without asylum screenings if a certain threshold of volume of migrants crossing the border is reached. The Republicans want 3,000, the Democrats want 5,000. Still a disagreement over that number, but the U.S. trying to um, address this issue of uh, a tremendous increase in migrants coming across the southern border. For example, Border Patrol agents uh, had 55,000 migrants just in October alone. That's a 30,000 more than they had the October before in 2022. So we have a high volume. We're seeing people on both sides of the aisle recognize that number. This is a vulnerable issue politically for President Biden. Um, but it will come down to the negotiations between Senate negotiators and White House negotiators going into next week and then coming up with a plan that is palatable to House lawmakers, particularly House Republicans, who really uh, want a tough uh, measure on this issue and also have uh, pressure from their side to be able to campaign on this issue going into the 2024 elections. Susan. Jessica Stone, live from the White House. Thank you so much for joining us. And I wish you a very happy weekend. I'll talk to you soon.